Hello! Right, you ready to go canal hunting? Grab your coat. We're on the Gloucester to Hereford Canal. Gloucester there, Newent, Ledbury and there's Hereford and we're actually just up here, Withington. Well, having reached Withington, sort of, we now have to sort of plot our way to where the canal is shown and see what we see. No guarantees here of course. Firing up the trusty satellite, if you go to the top right, you can actually trace the line of the canal as it comes around here, bordered by trees and bushes, and it then goes through Withington Marsh. And this is where the basin was, there and some lovely old buildings. We'll have a look at that later. It then carries on around here, turns down to the southwest before becoming a little bit faint through the next row of fields. We'll take a look. Right. Slow rise in the road. The parapet. And that's it. A double parapet. So the first one carries the river, stream or whatever. There's evidence of some engineering, look. Probably used as a feeder, I would think. Because right next to it is the canal. Which is right over this parapet. It's been closed since 1881. Bit of a dense mass. But on this side, without being too intrusive, is what's known as Lock House. And there's the remains of the lock. And you can make out the wall running along there, look. Oh, lock House. And we can do better than that. We need to marsh is just down here somewhere. Around here. Reckon to be some more remains and a few buildings if we can identify them. And this is either the right road or somebody's drive. Find out in a minute. It's the right road. And although the sign says Withington. It's actually within to Marsh. Looking at the sign, I might have said that once upon a time. There was a wharf here, so a lot of these buildings would have had some canal use. I think that's got more than moral problems. So it was constructed. We'll be getting a very good picture off that, I don't think. So that has a pub that served the workers of the area. They even have housed some of the uh, navvies. A wharfinger's house or longsman's house. Still standing. Part stone and part brick. Shows a history I think. Old conveyor belt keeping it company. A modern extension there has no doubt altered the uh, profile. But looking behind it there, I think that's the building that had salt written on the end of it at one time. So it was the salt house on the eve there. So no doubt that is canal side. Returning to the main road, which would have crossed the canal down there, and I don't think there's going to be any signs at all. Take a look. Not looking good, is it?
I'll just say that's either a ditch or a canal. Let's see what clues we can find. Start on the opposite side of the road and whatever it is continues up there. Oh, it's flowing so it's looking more like uh, a ditch at the moment, that one. And that's certainly not a uh, canal gauge which I would say puts the canal where the red brick building is, about there. The line of the canal is uh, converging with the road that we're on, and there's another building which possibly was uh, canal side. That's the one that said salt on the end wall. Honest. Well that's the line of the canal coming this way, following along right by us here, and I can see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, in here is like um, a dip, so I wonder if that isn't the line of the canal. If this were a railway you'd be looking for fence posts, but canals don't do fence posts do they very often? Longsman's cottages. Looking for original type buildings on this side. Oh, this is convenient. This gets us over the brook. Doesn't necessarily mean it gets us to our canal, though, does it? Or does it? Yeah. One canal. They started building it in the very late 1700s. It was completed in 1844 and here it is now 170 years later and still got water in it. That's amazing. I have trouble keeping water in my garden pond. Midday on a beautiful spring day. We'll head back to the main road see if we can pick up anything else around here. Huge amount of stone here. Some sort of structure was taken down. Level it out. No sign of what that structure might have been, but you have to say that the wharf was almost certainly where these buildings are. Makes sense, doesn't it? A few more down there. Just about to make them out. If you were to go tramping through these people's gardens. You might just pick up a sign or two of the wharf because it's there somewhere. Might be the odd uh, pile of bricks. But they do tend to get a bit upset if you do that, I've always found. Well, that building has a story to tell. Judging by that, I'll tell you a wharfinger, whatever one of those was. Somebody had operated the wharf, you'd have to say. The line of the canal then is where those tall trees are on the left. We've walked past that and seen nothing. Just give it another quick look on the main road. They're on the highest part of the road so it makes sense. That's all there is to see on sight. Bit of a depression. Although there is a wall there look, can you make it out? A bit closer. How about that? Well, we found something. Through the hedge on the opposite side of the road. That looks to have been, uh, the canal looks to have been grubbed out there. Head back down this way, we might better pick it up again. When the next road. We'll turn up this one. That's the other side of the brook that we saw. And it looks as if it's been well engineered. That's probably something to do with the canal workers. Water management of some sort, I would think. Opposite the turn off is uh, that lovely building, which has a period look about it. High point of the road, 
sort of dwelling uh, on it. If the name tells the story or if that's a modern building. Well there's no clue in the name. It does look like somebody has a feel for history. Rather good. Blue brick edging stones. Which would have put the canal about there. Nothing to see in that direction. And precious little the other way. I suspect that might be uh, the canal just there on the right. Even this uh, time of year it's too dense to see through there. So we can see up here. Not a lot. There is a footpath. Let's give this a go. There's nothing here which makes you suspect we're actually walking on the canal itself which has been filled in. We'll wander down there as far as the next gate and those uh, trees just to see if there are, are any remains still visible. Behind us you can make out the house we've just passed and the bank there which led to the bridge. So this is definitely canal territory. Dry underfoot I'm pleased to say. Field end and I've come across nothing really distinctive. But if you look very carefully down there you can see an embankment. Which has to be part of the canal doesn't it? Correct alignment, correct sort of engineering. This sort of walk draws you on and on as you've noticed. Following this embankment I look in the distance, there's another one down there, slightly taller. So I'm going to suggest this is actually the canal we're on. It's not the other side of that tedge on the right, it's our side. Well, if that's the case it's a wide canal, but then part of it would have been bank I guess. There you go. Then looking back to the white house in the distance, just to there, that then is our canal bed. Here's some canal engineering for you. The uh, gate there on the left is where the towpath will have been and you've got this ditch which is right where the canal was. Now if you go and have a look over on the far side, underneath the towpath is a brick arch looks like a tunnel, but that means the canal would have drained through there, would have drained out because the canal is just to there. Odd. But then when you look on this side, the noisy blessed helicopter, you can see that it's actually bricked off, sealed, which means that that um, brook must have gone under the canal. So it comes from that side of the towpath, under the canal, and out again on that side. Of course the wall's been taken down now so it's flooding in. You can make out the brickwork and the uh, modern cement. But there would have been a tube then, in effect, underneath the canal. Brilliant engineering. That's it. I'm off home. The purpose of this video was to show how much more difficult it is to find canals than railways. And the thing about railways is, because they were built later than the canals, a lot of them had fences around them, and the fence posts help you spot the railway. But canals, really, nothing there. Especially if they've been filled in, which I suppose a lot have, having water there, danger to children, livestock. So a lot have been filled in, ploughed out, so that makes it more difficult. However, hope you enjoyed it. If you did think about it, subscribe to my channel, if you haven't done already. If you liked it, please click like. If you have a social media account and you think it's worth the effort, please share it. And I'll catch you on the next one.